Okay, hello, welcome to my dev vlog. So this is uh, October 27th, 2024, Song Visualizer, Song Creator version 1.0a alpha. Now I have a loose script to go on here. Uh, I don't know how long this demo will take. I just wanted to provide another update on the current status of the project. So uh, I've been programming this project, I can't even remember, was it 2022? So two years? Or 20 something, whatever. But um, I took a break of two months from August 23rd till, you know, just the 24th or 5th of October. So roughly two months break. But other than that, I had like, um, just constant daily or every other day type of programming. Yeah, I think it's actually two years ago. So I started this project on the 26th of 2022, so that's been two years. Um, come a long way. But um, today, after coming back from like a two-month programming break, I decided to make a number of changes and that's, those changes are the ones that I'm going to demo today. So first up, um, I'm going to go in the order that I made the changes in, or maybe change it around a little bit. But first up, let me demo the database screen synchronization with the server. So now I have another option to sync the career data. So I'm going to do a demo of that. Um, first, before I do that, let me just show you that my current career is level 16. And I have these venues unlocked. Detroit, New York are green, completed. Nashville, Los Angeles are blue in progress. Um, I already synced these files. That's why I had this, this, this progress. So let me just go to clear clear these tables from the database. There's different tables for the career menu. There's venue track list, city conquest, country domination, global tour progress. But let me see. Okay, now they're clear. So if I go back, oh, hold on. I have to restart. Restart the program. Because the, the levels, oh, hold on. Database. Oh, player profile. Whoops, sorry, I didn't. I didn't actually clear that. Let me go back to level zero, or level one, and then press update, and then go back. So now I'm level one. Detroit is unlocked because you have to be level eight. New York is now back in progress. Nothing has been played here. So what happens is. When I, I have several computers, and I want the status to be synchronized across all of them. So I have a server. That's what the sync button does here. There's a manifest that generates, and then the manifest shows the checksum. I don't know. I don't plan on getting into that right now, into the files in this demo. I just plan on getting on in the user interface in the program. So what happens is you pr press sync, career data, engage. And then there's a little pop-up that's created. This is part of debugging. So it created a, a JSON file and what it does to determine which one to download or upload. It goes by checksum and, it, and if the checksums don't match, it goes by the date. Now, since the date is newer on the client because the JSON has been generated from scratch, I just say, no, I don't want to upload it. I say, yes, I set the server as newer, so I download it. So there we go. You see in the log, it downloaded the career player profile, career play, CD conquest, the career venue track list, and then it updated the database table with that information. So what that means is if I go back here to the debug for the career database, put me back at level 16 and it brought back the track lists. Uh, but that's another story. Let's go back. Here, so you can see on level 16, Detroit is back unlocked. And then these different venues 
You can see drop C, I already played it because I loaded it from the database. It's just a minor thing. Everything else is synced up the server, but it's worth sharing because on this computer in particular, I didn't play the career mode. I played the career mode on another computer and wanted that progress to be saved. So now that is a thing, pretty cool. Connects to the server, downloads, uploads, synchronizes, keeps track. Uh, this, the uh, server goes through a user profile, so every pro user that runs the software has their own uniquely generated location on the server to synchronize the files just for that one particular user. Okay, so next up we have changing the venue set lists. Um, so what I mean is when you go into a venue, and let's say I have a venue that's in progress. Sorry, when you go to a screen, a city, so this is a city screen. Let me go back. So when you go to the career, the, the, the first spot you start at the career is the world map. And from the world map, you choose a country. Now there's two planes here because the planes start showing up once you have more than one uh, city unlocked. A country in locked I mean if you have one country then there's no plane but uh so let's say I go in the United States the country and I go to Detroit the city and then on the city screen I choose a venue um, so what happens is um, when you go into a venue for the first time so the track list is generated automatically but there's some cases where the, the track list doesn't get automatically generated is because the way it chooses the track list it looks for songs that you've previously played before so if you haven't actually played a song and you try to generate a track list it's going to ask for a user manual definition um, so for example if I click drop C rhythm and you notice the venues go by the tuning and arrangement right so I selected the drop C and the rhythm that's what the legend here says gold color is selected and green is completed, so I completed the drop C lead. Uh, well, the bar the re requirements anyway are for the completion to be considered three songs, uh, or something like that. Yeah, like this is considered completed. Uh, but it's not. It's it's considered mastered when you complete all like five. Is a difference. Um. But we're still getting there. Maybe you have to add that in the vet legend. But, um, oh, sorry. It's considered, well, it's still a work in progress. See the mastery on the bottom? The mastery is another thing that I'm still getting down. But, uh, it says complete three venues for CD completion, complete 12 venues for mastery. So, it says Detroit is completed, even though I didn't complete three venues. So actually, I think I have to fix that. This is actually a bug when I think about it. Detroit shouldn't be considered completed, but I'll get that next time because I don't have three venues completed. I only have one venue, and you can see the completion progress bar. So yeah, I have to fix that. Whoopsie. It's okay. This is still alpha. I like looking for things to program to update. This is a passion project. There's so much details that go into it. But anyways, I know this uh, devlog is going along here. Um, I just wanted to show this is what I changed. So let's say we have a venue that's unlocked and it's in progress, 60% and complete on this one right here. I go into it, drop C lead. And what happens is, yeah, I played these songs, but I don't want them or I don't want these unplayed ones into the set list. So what I did is I added this change set list because the songs are automatically chosen. Uh, you go to change set list and right now it's a little pop-up. So you can only change the unplayed ones. So I don't want these two songs that I made to be in the in the set list. So we're going to change them. Let's just choose these two kill switch engage songs. Select and there you see now it's selected and updated. Um, you can debug it if you want. Like if you go to Motown Melody Club, drop C lead. You go to the database debugging menu. You go to venue track list. We look for, uh, man, I don't even remember what it was. 
What is it called again? Let me go back. It's called Detroit Drop C Motown Melody Club, right? Is that it? Uh oh. What's happening here? Oh, that's a bug, huh? Let's consider these no longer played. Oh, let's see if this is repro. Let's see. Still City Hall. Change four of them. Three, four. Still City Hall. Will it remember that the first one is played? Oh, no, that's a bug. Wow, I just found this bug now. I got to fix that. So when I go to the change set list, it removes the play IDs. That's not good. Okay, I just found that out now. I have to fix that. But it changed the rest of the songs. That's the main goal. But I have to fix that. But you see now, I also change the uh, green text. is now no longer green text. It's black text with the green highlight for the completed songs. But yeah, I got to fix that where it removes the play. That's not good. So... Let's look, let's um, do something here. I'll make this video however long and we'll get there. Um, sync, let me go to the here, clear the venue track lists. Okay, so I go back, the venue track lists, they're cleared. And I do sync career data again. Uh, I wanna download the uh, changes from the server or download the career settings from the server. Uh, career, here, New York. Okay, so drop C, Motown Melody Club. That was weird. We gotta choose drop C. Drop C, Motown Melody Club. We have three songs completed. Uh, database. I'm probably going too fast, but whatever. Motown Melody Club right here. Throw it right here. And it says that 128, 126, 122. Oh, sorry, that's E standard. I want the Motown Melody Club in drop C, which they're not alphabetized right now. But you see Motown Melody Club drop C. Right here is the song IDs and the play IDs. If it detects a play ID, that's when it's considered green. So the first three have play IDs. But what happens is... Um, I could debug it and I could remove it and they'll go back to red. So I hit, it plays to a null, it says pending changes. So I do update data and let's go back to Motown Melody Club and drop C lead. Uh, Detroit Motown Melody Club, now they're not played. And yeah, I got to fix that bug where it goes here. So if I, the bug is if I do change set list, it's going to remove the play ID. I choose four songs. It shows it good here, but when I go back, uh, that's not good. Okay, so that was a feature I introduced to change the unplayed songs. You got to fix the bug where it changes the played. But aside from that, um, there's another thing that I did where, um, let's say, for example, I never played any drop C rhythm songs. And so the requirement of the career is to have songs played to choose from. So what happens is if I do drop C rhythm and I hit um, a, a venue, oh, whoa, that's weird. It chose two songs. Dang it. Well, what's supposed to happen is it didn't find all five songs. I got to fix that. I got to add in if it doesn't find any songs because I wrote in if it finds zero songs and it pops up with this, please still find a new set list. But I got to add in if you find less than five, then fill in the remaining. That scenario didn't happen now until I started filming. I consider this a rubber duck programming session. It's okay that we're finding bugs. I just found them. I got it fixed. Let me write that down. Um, changing set list removes play IDs. Bugs found. And then um, selecting drop C rhythm sometimes has less than five songs should emit the please define a new set list manually okay so uh this flow is like okay you haven't played drop c rhythm and the reason why this occurred now is because there's logic that says try to pick a song that's not already in the um 
another set list. So you can see it shows two songs in one and drops the rhythm. It should be a requirement that choose five. So I got I got to update that to have this pop up displayed. So this pop up displayed because it found none. Um, so it says, okay, please define a new set list manually. And it just says like, see how it says rhythm. So I just choose five uh, songs and then adds it. And I could change it. Uh, whatever. Okay, but yeah, I got to fix that bug over if it chooses less than five. Oh, here we go. Did it again. But yeah, this is this shouldn't happen if it chooses two. It should have a minimum requirement. So I got to fix that. I don't want to do it right now in the um, video. Let's just move on to the next thing, which is um, I added difficulty settings for more than difficulty five. Because this used to error when you go to a song and it says uh, difficulty five. Well, this is another thing I got to fix because the difficulty is actually six. Difficulty actually goes up to 10. And the error would be that if you try to play a song that's difficulty six to 10, it would error. The difficulty is in relation to the dynamic dif tempo. And w there's different settings for the dynamic tempo, right? There's like 8% increase, the measure of, so you hit 75% of notes, the tempo increase 5% per measure. You miss 50% of notes, the tempo would increase 5, 15%. This is per measure basis. So what happens is when you go to the career, um, well, I gotta, whoa. See, I'm still changing the flow. This is all weird. That's another bug I just encountered now. I'm kind of skipping all over the place. But um, I got to fix that. Let me see if I could repro it. Because what happens is I tried to, I changed the flow a little bit. So I went back and I go back to career mode. Okay, I got to fix that. So I only wanted to go back to the set list, to the venue set list, if I complete the song and the set list is shown and I cancel out of the set list and it takes me back. But I got to fix that. So let me see, this is the bug when going to career, playing song, going back out of song, going back to career, leads to the venue set list to lead back to the world. Okay, so that's a bug. So that's a bug right there. Um, so what I changed here, let me show you what I wanted to change in. So first, let me debug and change the Brooklyn Beat House to remove all the play IDs and do null. And then we're going to change the song IDs to the test song 160, 160, 160, 160. Enter, update. So Brooklyn Beat House drop C, career, uh, New York. Brooklyn Breed House, drop C. Uh, hold on a second. I think the ID's changed, unfortunately. Brooklyn Breed House. Update. Brooklyn Breed House, New York. Unlock. Okay, so that changed the song IDs. That's not what I wanted. Let me see something. I actually have to view the song ID that I want. So I'm opening up a database in another tab here. That's the thing about uh, unscripted videos, um, documents. I'm opening the database to get the song ID. It's gonna take me a second here. Last time I did this, the song ID that I wanted was 160, but I cleared the database and all that stuff. Um, Ghost test is now 263. So let me go back. Database, venue track list, Brooklyn Beat House. So 263, 263, 263, 263. Enter. Date. This, so this, this screen is basically doing database querying in a GUI format. So I uploaded, updated the Brooklyn Beat House song IDs to be a test song. So we go back to Brooklyn Beat House. Now these are all the tests. Um, 
and I made another change that the JSONs get saved uh, just for debugging purposes because usually I don't want to save the JSON if I'm debugging and if the song name has the test in it. So I go to play and I'm going to go to the debug, debug note hit on because there's another requirement where you have to get 30% accuracy or more. The debug note hit gives me 100% accuracy because it says all notes are hit. So what happens is this is a change that I want to demo here. So before um, the song stats, you notice you go to OpenGP5, you go to E standard, you go to tests, and that's where this song is, ghost test. This song, ghost test, is specifically in E standard. But sometimes what happens is when I go into a song, I want to play in drop C. So I have another setting, uh, change tuning every song select. It didn't change the tuning because I didn't have that setting enabled, so it's still in drop C. But what happens is, if let me go back and reopen it. I, I did the, the checkbox for changing tuning every song select. Now it should change tuning every song select. So we go back to Ghost Test, and now it's E Standard. And I'm here's another change that I fixed, which was a bug, was that the tuning, when you go here, it didn't save the tuning. So like, when you change the tuning screen, go back, back, it didn't change it on the song itself, that's fixed now. But the main thing I wanted to ch show is, okay, that should be that should be fixed. That should be, I mean, that's a bug. It shouldn't, it should take me back to the world. Anyways, I'll fix it. Um, I know I'm going all over the place. Just got to bear with me here. So let's go back to the Drop C Lead Brooklyn Beat House. Test, ghost, test, drop C. So now I'm in the career mode. The career took me to this spot. And the change I want to demo is that um, it's going to take me back to the venue screen. Because what happened is I got tired of playing the song, going to the set list, and having to go back to the career, go back to the world, go back to the city, go back to the venue. That's like three clicks. I got a 78% because of tempo. See, because this is another story. The career lowered the tempo, so I got a B. So this is overall score. If I had 100% tempo, then I get an A, because I had 100% accuracy. Oh, 70% accuracy? It made my note debug is off. Anyways, um, I go back. So what happens is, this is the change I intended, is when you go, if it shows the set list, then as soon as I go out of the set list, I hit cancel, and it takes me back to the venue. So I could continue, uh, though I should have it change the play ID, the selected by default. Okay, um, excuse me. And the thing, this is, this is a bug, where it shows a blank screen. See, what happens is, I didn't test it full, all the way. What I tested was that when you change, stop a song, or complete a song like this from the quick play, not from the career. So I went out of the career, went to quick play. I searched the song by itself, different flow. And when you go this way from the set list, oh, it takes you back to the world? Well then, I guess I got to fix more of these bugs. It should have took me back to the quick play. I guess I'm still ironing it out. I'll have to fix that the flow of going from the song playing to the main menu to the career and all that stuff. So I still have to iron that out um, because in that instance, it took me back to the world instead, but it's okay. Um, so let quick play that took me back to the world world career on back press. Okay, well, we're still hanging on here 24 minutes in of stuff. Let's go to the next in the change log. Oh, is the, let me go back to the topic of playing a song in another tuning. So if we say E standard test, yeah, it found it. Now I know I added the song. Yeah, this is E standard stats. But what I added is for the stats to save in the alternate tunings. So if I go back to drop C, that's funny it saved it. Okay. 
you go to stats now it's, it shows the stats for the song based on tuning now because what happened before it didn't save the um the stats for the song in the alternate tuning like if i play the song in an adjusted tuning let's say the song is supposed to be in drops uh e standard and i play it e flat even though i played it in e flat it would save in the e standard and i, I wouldn't have any reference like hey i played this in the e flat but there's it didn't save that so now it will so let me just show it again so now it's going to have two stats for drop c and it should have one stat for e standard i just want to make sure of that okay so we'll go back cancel out so this is the bug it shouldn't take me back to the world map i'll have to fix that because i was on quick play quick play going back should take me back to the main menu but that's okay i'll fix that so you go to ghost test and E standard only has one because I only played it once in E standard. But if I go back to drop C, see it says to drop C back, and I go to stats, I have two. So now that the stats are dependent on the tuning that I play it, even though the song is meant to be in e, uh, e standard, I added the ability to change the tuning to whatever you want for each song just because why not? Okay, um, let's see what next is. Well, that's really it, actually. Uh, I guess I, I got to fix the bugs where you go back and it takes you back to the career. That's another story. Um, oh, yeah, I also fixed the um, visualization on the song stats. Uh, fix on song stats. And what I mean is uh, this, I brought that back to functionality to show the charts. So it goes through the score comparison. So this particular daylight dies on October 19th. I played 1483 score. Uh, accuracy 91%. Average tempo 95. Default tempo 180. Accuracy per measure. Cumulative cumulative accuracy over measures, hit miss distribution by note length. And this is the thing I'm proud of right here. This shows the note detection has gotten better because it shows on time 94%, late 5%, early 0. Because if you go back, this previous and next functionality works with the charts. Because if I go back, watch, if I go to previous, look at the dates. So currently is October 19th, so I have previous. Now it's September 23rd. It's going back. Let's keep going back to August. Now in August, there's a lot more um, early, late, on times. But it, since August to September or whatever, it changed the note hit detection. So now it's like more on time or whatever. Um, but that's it, I guess you could say. If you could, if you don't mind me rambling, going back and forth going over change log and bugs I'm sure you don't know what I'm even talking about because um, you never played this you don't know the flows or whatever but that kind of helped me uh, verbalizing things here um, so I'm going to stop going to go back to programming hope you enjoyed the devlog um, I'm sure there's more I could say but let's leave it at that See you later.